What is happening, guys? Coldy Black Ops Kid here, coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Xbox Game Pass on PC. Now, I originally had pretty salty about it when it first came out. Uh, it wasn't very good. Uh, I had a lot of issues with it. Up until now, it's been out for a couple months now, I think, about two, three months now. And it has gotten extraordinarily better. Many, many months ago, we had the opportunity to play the Game Pass as soon as it came out. I was very upset. There wasn't very many games on it. But now, Game Pass is a different story. Oops, shit. I just launched Google Chrome. So, Xbox Game Pass. It's sometimes fidgety uh, when it comes down to downloading. I was going to download Kingdom Come Deliverance yesterday. That is free when you have the Xbox Game Pass for PC. It's only $5. Uh, wait, no. $10 for PC. $10 for the Xbox Game Pass. Or $15 a month for... PC, Game Pass, and uh, Xbox Live subscription. So th look at all these games. This is a, a classic RTS Wasteland 2, which Wasteland 3 will be available. Um, Age of Empires Definite Edition, which is great. I played that for like six hours the other day. Uh, of course, Kingdom Come Deliverance, a very really good RPG. Haven't played it yet, but I've heard many great things. Sea of Thieves on PC. I mean, let's just look at all the games that are uh, recently added. Because uh, they add recently games. Bar Tales uh, Trilogy. Amazing. It's pretty damn good. I haven't played all these other games. I want to play Downwell because I've heard a lot of good things about it. Banner Saga 3. Amazing. Banner Saga series, series is just amazing. They have Undertale, which I've uh, played a little bit of. I've played it on the Switch and, you know, all the other console platforms. So, um, yeah, they have really good games. on This is just recently added within the last, like, two or three weeks. Um, let's go to, um, do, 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 do. let's just show all, they have, of course, more popular games, what's popular right now, Zoo Tycoon, uh, Disneyland Adventures, Everspace is on here, uh, half of these games weren't on here at the time, ReCore was, a lot of the Xbox exclusives are also on PC, Metro Exodus is on here too, I've been playing that, I was like, the, that's when that was first out, uh, I had that on there. Um, let's see. They had, of course, State of Decay 2, Crackdown 3, Ark Survival, Ruin, Ruiner, Wolfenstein 2 is something newish about a couple of months back. Uh, they have a couple, they have really good games. Hellblade is super good. Um, super hot. I need to play that. No, it's on Windows 10. A lot of these also give you achievements as well. Ori in the Blind Forest, Prey, um, these games are good. Football Manager 2019! Oh! Fuck that game, dude. I am uh, not a big fan of uh, managing football, let alone. I also love Halo Wars. They will eventually bring Halo to the PC platform. Um, but at, the, at right now, I don't think it's there. Let's see all the games on Xbox Game Pass. They have Gears of War. They have a lot of really good games. A lot of them I just don't have the time to play them yet. But I will eventually. I know that for sure. I'm still working on so many games at once. Eight or nine games at least. Uh, let's see. Hollow Knight's amazing. They have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which is actually pretty interesting. That's on PC. Um, of course, you, use, you can use controller as well. Uh, then they have Goat Simulator, uh, which you can, if you've played Goat Simulator on Xbox, you can also play it on, um, yeah, you can get achievements again on the Xbox. So a lot of people are doing it for the achievements. I'm doing it for all the... Uh, I like play, being able to play it on PC because it's just so much better. Uh, Into the Breach is amazing. That was like when it first came out too. That was an amazing game. Um, Shenmue 1 and 2 is on PC. I actually never played Shenmue 1 and 2. A long time ago I played Shenmue 1, but it was a long time ago. Um, West of Loathing. They have some like weird-ass games on here that I don't think anyone will ever play. I played it just for... Uh, whatever, but it's all right. That's okay. It could be worse. Never played that. It looks interesting. There's a lot of cool games on here. Shadow Tactics looks interesting. Rhyme, I haven't played, but I've heard very good things about. Fez is good. Some of these games that are on the PC Game Pass, though, do not have achievements. That's the only thing that kind of sucks. Um, you're just playing it just to play it, which isn't a big deal. I like playing those types of games. I've played quite a bit of Fez. So, um... Then they have some of these games that are just like weird. Hateful boyfriend. What the hell? 
<laughs> I actually, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? That's weird. That looks like a very interesting game. What the hell? Okay, so I think we're done here. Um, let's see. Where were we at? Wasteland 2 is really good. Um, they keep adding games on here, which is amazing. Age of Empire 2, which isn't out yet. It's coming out November or something. Damn, it looks great, dude. I love Age of Empires 1. Age of Empire 2 is just the the more standing version. State of Decay 2. Uh, we're getting to the final here. Torment, Tides of Pneumonia. I have played that a little bit. It's uh, from the same developers as Wasteland 2. The Outer World. What? Outer World is on Game Pass? No. What? No way, dude. Totally downloading that. I did not know that was on the Game Pass. <laughs> no way. I didn't even know that. I got to go all the way to the bottom now. Shit. That just tells you how good the Game Pass is, boys. You get access to all these games, and you don't have to pay barely anything. $15 a month to play games. As much games as you want. So, I think it's came a long way. There's a lot of new games on here. Age of Empires is just one of the uh, tidbits. It's really, really, really fun. Um, and I'm playing it quite a bit, too. A lot lately. I'm just farting. But, yeah, no, it's it's really cool. I like the games that are on here. I'm hoping that they add a little bit more exclusive content. Like, they have just so many good games on here. Really good Xbox exclusives. Some third-party developers, too, as well. And it's it's really good, man. Like, I've really enjoyed the Game Pass. Um, Age of Empires has full achievements. And they have Worms on here. I'm playing a lot of, like, the games I used to play as a kid on here that's, like, new. So I'm glad that they're doing that. Bard's Tale is super good. Um, it's definitely bringing me back to playing games when I was a kid. And definitely did not have that kind of feel towards it, the beginning. But super good. If you guys want to get this i would jump on it immediately uh they always give out free months uh, especially if you have amd i do believe they give out extra months a three month uh subscription for free uh and then right now if you're also signing up you get two months for two dollars for xbox game pass so uh definitely if you have an xbox one and a pc definitely take advantage of the uh, the ultimate pass, which is of course the PC, the Xbox, and the free Le Xbox Live membership, uh, which for fifteen dollars a month, um, it's already paying for itself almost. It is one hundred seventy dollars a year, but that's not bad compared to spending, um, you know, ten dollars a month. That's one hundred and twenty dollars plus fifty dollars is for your uh, year of Xbox. Oh, sixty dollars for gold, isn't it? I think. $60 for gold, so already there is paying for itself already. Plus, you're getting all the Xbox uh, Game Pass stuff for PC already. So, hell of a deal. Um, and just came a long way. All the games on here are just exceptional. I'm super excited to play Kingdom Come Deliverance um, because I haven't played it yet, and it looks good. And it just came out like three days ago. So, super excited for that. And uh, they comes with all the DLCs absolutely free as well, so... Uh, bands of bastards, all that kind of stuff. Hateful, hateful boyfriend just got. Uh, I'm gonna review some of the games. Maybe we'll do a top ten list here soon. But I at least wanted to show you guys where the Xbox Game Pass is, and I can't believe Outer Worlds is fucking on the Game Pass. That is crazy. I can't believe they. <laughs> that's a that's crazy, dude. People are gonna be downloading it just for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um. Yeah, get the Game Pass if you're really interested. You get the Outer Worlds for free, boys. Get that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the very next video where I probably will be reviewing some of these games. Uh, I've downloaded quite a bit of them, so uh, the ones I think that were the most interesting. That were kind of original on the PC Game Pass, not necessarily both. Although I'm sure there will be a couple of appearances from other games. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.